The year was 1971, and the 1969 draft was still underway. My brother and I had avoided being drafted so far, but after all of our protesting and opposition toward the war, our luck had finally run out. My name is Dean, and my brother's name is Mike. Mike's wife, Lindsay, was like a sister to me, and was the most upset with us being drafted. Lindsay was five months pregnant, and knew that if Mike didn't come back from the war, she wouldn't be able to care for and support her child. I couldn't stand seeing Mike and Lindsay so miserable, so I came up with a plan that would let Mike and I escape to Canada. Okay, Mike. We'll leave in the middle of the night. Pack only what you need. Dean, I'm still not sure I can do this. I can't just... Mike, we don't have a choice. We've been drafted. If you want to live to see your daughter, we need to go. Tonight. I'll come get you around midnight. Be ready. But I... How am I going to tell Lindsay? Oh no, they're here. Ma'am, I'm here to recruit your husband. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop them. They left for Canada early this morning. Hey Dean, hold up. I'm not sure I can go through with this. What do you mean? We can't go back now. I don't know Dean. I can't just leave my family like this. You need to. Your family needs you alive. No, Dean. It's not right. I'd rather die fighting for my family than face them as a coward. What about all the protesting we did? I know how you feel about this war. You even- Stop, Dean. You won't talk me out of this. But... You'll die. In Canada, I got a small apartment in a small town. I got a job as a mail person in my neighborhood. It stayed like this for ten years and I was all alone. I thought about Mike and Lindsay every day, hoping they were okay. Years later, in 1982, I got a message with a return address of my brother's home. It read only, I made it. I immediately went back to Mike's house. I saw him outside with his family. He lost his leg and was in a wheelchair, but he was home. Hello, Dean. Let's go inside. Mike told me how he fought every day, killing countless Vietnamese, and how he lost his leg shielding a fellow soldier from a frag grenade. But none of that mattered right now. We were all home. <laughs>